What is semen retention? Semen retention is the practice of avoiding ejaculation. You can do this by abstaining from sexual activity altogether, of course. Or you can learn how to orgasm without ejaculating. Although it may sound like some wild new fad, the practice is probably as old as humankind. People have different reasons for trying it, from physical to emotional to spiritual. Where did this idea come from? Semen retention might seem like a modern concept, but it's only because websites and forums have made it easier to discuss such things openly. In reality, it's an idea that's been around a long time and is actually part of some ancient practices. People give a variety of reasons for their interest in semen retention, including the belief that frequent ejaculation weakens you. Some say that semen retention improves fertility, sexual pleasure, or physical health. For some, it's the ultimate journey of self-control. Some other names for semen retention are coitus reservatus, seminal conservation, sexual continence. It's also part of practices such as kai in pu yang and kai yang pu in, karetsa, mithuna, sexual transmutation, tantric sex, taoism. What are the purported benefits? People point toward a variety of benefits to semen retention, such as mental, more confidence and self-control, less anxiety and depression, increased motivation, better memory, concentration, and overall cognitive function, physical, greater vitality, increased muscle growth, thicker hair, deeper voice, improved sperm quality, spiritual, deeper relationships, stronger life force, better overall happiness. Is there any research to support this? It's a complicated, multifaceted topic, and research is lacking. Not having enough research doesn't mean all claims are false, though. It does mean that additional research and longer-term studies are needed to reach firm conclusions about specific claims. Here are a few published studies. If you liked the video so far and want to know about the scientific content of relationship, don't forget to subscribe. In 2018, researchers conducted a systemic review trusted source of studies on the length of ejaculatory abstinence and semen characteristics. They noted the varied quality and limited nature of existing studies. Evidence suggests that an abstinence period of less than a day, rather than a longer abstinence period, is linked to improvement in sperm motility. In a 2007 animal study, researchers found that androgen receptors in the brain, which help your body make use of testosterone, were lower with frequent masturbation. In a small 2003 study trusted source, researchers documented a link between ejaculation and changes in serum testosterone levels. Among the 28 volunteers, testosterone levels peaked on the seventh day of abstinence. A small 2001 study trusted source found elevated testosterone levels in participants who abstained from masturbation for three weeks. In a 2000 study trusted source of male athletes, researchers found that sexual activity didn't have a detrimental effect on athletic performance, but having intercourse two hours before a competition could. Are there any risks to consider? There doesn't appear to be evidence that semen retention is risky to physical or mental health. If you feel good about it, carry on. How is it done? You can abstain from sex or you can learn to have an orgasm without ejaculating. It takes a lot of muscle control, so get in the habit of doing Kegel exercises. Flexing your pelvic muscles just before ejaculation is key. The Mayo Clinic offers these exercise techniques. Locate your pelvic floor muscles. Stop urinating midstream or tighten the muscles that keep you from passing gas. Now you have a sense of where those muscles are. You can do these exercises while lying down, sitting, standing, or even walking. Contract your pelvic floor muscles. Hold for 3 seconds, then relax for 3 seconds. Focus on contracting your pelvic floor muscles only. Keep the muscles in your buttocks, thighs, and abdomen relaxed. Breathe freely. Do this in sets of 10, at least 3 times a day, to build muscle control. During vaginal, anal, or oral sex, you'll need to maintain control over your muscles. UKAskMen.com offers these suggestions. Let go of tension in the jaw, buttocks, and legs. Learn to relax and avoid an excess buildup of energy in the pelvis. As orgasm approaches, take long, deep breaths. Try holding perfectly still for a few moments to calm your body. Put your attention on the other person. According to Biroho.org, at this point you can apply pressure on the area between the anus and scrotum, perineum. This can cause retrograde ejaculation, a process that sends ejaculate into the bladder instead of out the penis. It doesn't stop the orgasm. However, UKAskMen.com notes that retrograde ejaculation may not be the way to get positive, flowing energy. 
Nataliasen.com says that when you hit the point of no return, squeeze your pelvic floor muscles as if you're doing kegels, open your eyes, and stop stroking to achieve a dry orgasm. At first, you might be too early or too late, as it takes time and practice. There's no right or wrong way. It may simply depend on what you're trying to achieve or what feels right to you. Is this meant to be a short or long-term practice? It's a very personal matter. Consider your reasons for practicing semen retention and what you hope to gain. If it's working for you, there doesn't appear to be any harm in continuing. If it's not, you can stop at any time. Can you still engage in sexual activity? Absolutely. How can you practice non-ejaculatory masturbation? It's going to take discipline and a certain amount of practice to learn semen retention. Masturbation won't hurt you, nor will it affect your ability to produce sperm. And it may help to practice on your own before trying it with a partner. Again, it's a matter of personal preference. Make sure your leg and buttock muscles don't get rigid. Take deep breaths to help keep your muscles relaxed. Pay attention to your body's signals. Learn to recognize your level of arousal and what it feels like just before an orgasm. Here are a few approaches to holding off orgasm. When you feel orgasm approaching, squeeze the end of your penis where the head joins the shaft. Maintain that squeeze for a few seconds while the urge to ejaculate passes. Repeat as necessary. With your fingers, apply pressure to your perineum. Practice will help you pinpoint the right spot to trigger retrograde ejaculation. You'll want to be on the same wavelength, so talk to your partner first. Discuss what you want to do and how they can help. Ask how this will affect their pleasure, what they're willing to do, and what they're not willing to do. Basically, have a conversation about boundaries and achieving each other's desires. If you have questions about the potential health benefits or harms of semen retention, talk to a primary care doctor or urologist. If you're interested in learning more, here are some popular books on Amazon to get you started. Taoist Secrets of Love, Cultivating Male Sexual Energy by Mantak Chia. The Tao of Health, Sex, and Longevity, A Modern Practical Guide to the Ancient Way by Daniel P. Reed. Tantric Sex for Men, Making Love a Meditation by Diana Richardson and Michael Richardson. I am Majid 2006, thank you for watching the video till the end, now, if you want to be successful in romantic relationships and know more, subscribe to my channel I made many tutorials for you I will kiss you, my dear.